It is a wonderful story, but the story of this nation reminds us that freedom is not guaranteed. And history cautions us to never take progress for granted. On the same day 25 years ago that polls were voting here, tanks were crushing peaceful de democracy protests in Tiananmen Square on the other side of the world. The blessings of liberty must be earned and renewed by every generation, including our own. And this is the work to which we rededicate ourselves today. Our democracies must be defined not by what or who we're against, but by a politics of inclusion and tolerance that welcomes all our citizens. Our economies must deliver a broader prosperity that creates more opportunity across Europe and across the world, especially for young people. Leaders must uphold the public trust and stand against corruption, not steal from the pockets of their own people. Our societies must embrace a greater justice that recognizes the inherent dignity of every human being. And as we've been reminded by Russia's aggression in Ukraine, our free nations cannot be complacent in pursuit of the vision we share, a Europe that is whole and free and at peace. We have to work for that. We have to stand with those who seek freedom.